Hello all, welcome you all in the another tutorial based on Python. So in this chapter, we are going to learn about data sort. So data sorting, what is data sorting is like, suppose I have a list of uh, number of students and uh, uh, the students that getting the number is from uh, like, suppose student number A is getting the number uh, 90, student number B is getting the number 95, then uh, C is getting the number uh, 86 d is getting the number 100 now i want that my list is here i have the data but i don't know how to uh, separate the uh, student ranks according to their numbers so we will use sort method uh, where uh, you know um, this with this method our list can sort by itself so actually for using the sort method <clears throat> uh, ascending order is by default uh, it's set in pandas so sharing my screen with all of you and we'll let you know how it works so i have shared my screen here you will write repl.8 press enter You'll go to create REPL. You will go with the option Python. And here I will write sorting. And here I will click on create REPL. So I'll be starting writing down the code. The first code that I will write is import pandas. And uh, I will import pandas as pd. Uh, like this is my, uh, like I'm importing one file as pd and then I will take the data. So I'll simply write data is equals to and uh, you know very well how to create data because uh, in last class I have explained you now i will write the data in uh, dictionary form so student is my key and here i'm giving the value in form of list so i will create the list of names like i have the list uh, of names here amit then the second name i'm writing is john the third name i'm writing is jacob the fourth name i'm writing is David and the fifth name is Steve like this way after this you will put the comma and then you will come to the second key and the second key you will write as rank so in rank uh, you'll come out of this colon in rank I will also make the list like uh, one, four, three, five, two kind of, and then I will put comma like this, and then I will write the third key that's marks. So I will write as marks. I will come out of this, and then I will put colon, and here, here I will write the marks, as uh, 95 70 you can uh, make data according to your choice 60 90 so this is my data set okay my data set is complete after completion of my data set i will come out and uh, i will make the data frame uh, basically i want to create my index like i want to create my rows so for rows you need to uh, write the command index uh, so I'm creating the data frame using the method that's data frame with index. Okay, so you all know very well about data frames. I uh, have explained it in last class. So res is my variable and I'm writing pd because I'm calling my pandas library and here I will write data frame. Please do write exactly like this way. Otherwise, you can face error. So here I'm writing data. And after that, I will be writing index.
now i will define my index so i will define index as uh, row a then uh, this should be inside the double quotation symbol so i'll write double quotation symbol and i'm writing row a then i will come out and then i will be writing row b exactly like this way uh, you will write the number of rows till e okay so i'm writing row c then come out row d come out and row e okay so this is done like these are my number of rows i have written and after this you will put comma and come out of it now i will come out of the loop and i will print the like uh, as a result so i will print student records okay so i will write student records and then i want to make a space of lines so i'm writing this here then i put the comma and i will call my variable res after that what i want i want that uh, sorting in ascending order it will be written uh, as a heading and then it will give me the result of sort value like i will write my function sort value and it will give me the value in form of sort okay so that's what i'm writing uh print and then i will put double quotation because this i need to write uh with proper space in this you can write anything in your way it's like uh the thing that you're going to show on the screen as a output okay so i will simply write ascending order then this is done and i'll put comma i will call the uh, variable that res dot sort values so sort values is actually you are going to write in exact way then you will write by equals to what you are going to write like by what you are going to sort the value i will sort the value according to the ranks so i am calling it that according to the ranks i want to sort the values that's it so it's very simple let me explain you again like in first i import the library in second this is my data that i want like these are the number of student these are the names of the student these are the ranks and these are the marks so according to the ranks i want to uh, you know uh, distribute uh, the data and i made the index row a b c d e and here i want to print the records like this way okay so so let me run this code and let's see what's going to happen here so here as you can see in the output i wrote student records i can see the student records and then after the space two spaces i got this like this file my this file here okay uh, because till now i'm not like i have not done with the sorting so this is my data how it look previously and uh, in line number 10 i wrote sorting in ascending order so ascending order as you all know that the increasing order first value is a smaller smaller then the it gets bigger 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 so it's like one two three four five because i sort this list on the basis of rank so this is how sorting works uh with pandas you can even uh make changes with your way you can even try with different kind of sorting in pandas 
Now, this is the ascending order. What if in case of descending order means I want this list to be printed in descending order. So, nothing you will do. You will just do just put comma and here you will write ascending order. Ascending is equals to false. If you make it false, then uh, this will come like this. Just wait. Let me let me check what's wrong. Yeah, this is absolutely fine. Now, if you run this code, see, this is your descending order. Means the first will be the first number will be the bigger and smaller, smaller, smaller kind of okay so this way you can easily sort the things you can easily sort uh, sort things uh, with on the basis of marks okay on the basis of rank it's given on the basis of marks you can sort instead of rank you can write here marks you can write here according uh, to the student names uh, but yeah it's working like that you can definitely try more examples you can search uh, by yourself, explore more about it. And that's all about this session. Thank you so much, everyone. Let's meet you again in the next session. Bye-bye.